1st, 2021 special meeting of the Nicola County Board of Commissioners. Uh, we'll start with the flag pledge led by Commissioner Kolars. I pledge Thank allegiance. you, Mr. Chair. I pledge yes, allegiance sir. to the flag, the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner Kolars. Uh, we're working on uh, we're muting phones on our end, but I would ask folks uh, participating in today's meeting to please mute your phones, mute your cell phones. Uh, and I have a notice to read. Due to the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic and resulting state and federal emergency declarations and guidance about limiting unnecessary person-to-person -person contact, the April 1st, 2021 Nicola County Special Board meeting will be conducted under Minnesota Statute 13D.021, meetings by telephone or other electronic means. Board members will participate by telephone and other electronic means, and we've included a uh, Zoom link and other ways to access this morning's meeting. We can turn now to the agenda for the special meeting. Uh, let me first test to make sure that uh, all five board members can uh, hear us. Uh, Commissioner Drown? I can hear you fine. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Kolars? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Lipke? Loud and clear. Thank you. And Commissioner Kemp? Yes, I hear you well. Wonderful. Thank you. We're going to turn to uh, approval of the agenda, but before we do that, uh, members, I'd like to remove item seven from the uh, noticed agenda. I'll ask if any members have any other changes to the agenda. Seeing none, I would invite a motion to approve the agenda as amended. Yeah, we'll move. I'll second. Kent moves. Uh, uh, Lip, uh, let's see, Kolar's moved. Lip, Kolar's moved, Kemp second. Abby, would you please take the roll? Lars? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion to approve the agenda as amended has been approved. We'll turn now to the first agenda item, motion to approve the separation agreement with Ryan Krosh. Mr. Chair, I'd make that motion. Commissioner Kemp moves. Commissioner Drandall to second. Commissioner Drandall seconds the motion. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, Abby, would you please take the roll on the motion? Kemp? Yes. Drandall? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion passes unanimously. We'll now turn to the second item on the agenda, Motion to accept the resignation of Jamie Hafner. Kemp would make that motion. Kemp moves. Second. Kolars seconds the motion. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, Abby, would you please take the roll? Kemp? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Morrow. Yes, the motion passes unanimously. Members, we're now going to turn to the third item. And at this point, we're gonna be focusing the rest of our meeting and our attention on moving forward, uh, supporting our staff and serving the citizens of Nicola County. Designation and appointments. Uh, members, if I could uh, explain a little bit about the background of where we are. Uh, every county has to have a responsible authority for the purpose of uh, data requests. That's a, a position required under law. Uh, we have, uh, I am going to propose that our board consider a three-phase process moving forward. Phase one, I would propose that the board consider appointing an interim county administrator to serve for the period it will take to identify, interview, and retain a 
person to serve as the interim county administrator. So I've got one person in phase one, that position maybe 30 days, maybe 60 days. I propose we work as reasonably promptly as possible to identify a person, perhaps a retired county administrator to step in on phase two. So we would have somebody in phase two who would serve as an interim county administrator until we complete a full uh, process to hire a permanent county administrator, which would be phase three. So just to be clear, phase one, somebody who step in today as an interim, phase two, the hiring of somebody uh, from outside the organization, most likely to serve as an interim county administrator until we reach phase three, the hiring of a permanent county administrator. So the responsible authority tends to be the county administrator. So at this point, uh, I would invite uh, a motion concerning an interim county administrator. Mr. Chair, Jack Kular is here. Um, in the last three weeks, we have had a situation where a member of our current staff has uh, worked closely with all of our employees and with the county board. And in visiting with this member, this uh, employee, uh, they have a willingness to be a utility person, a plug in, if you will, uh, interim to the interim. Um, I have visited with this person and their, their willingness is there to be the team member that we need moving forward in visiting with the uh, personnel uh, committee member, Marie Drantel, um, and others on the board, I would offer the name of Mandy Landcammer to take that spot. Thank you, Commissioner Kolars. Is there a second? I would second that, Drantel. Thank you, Commissioner Grant Drantel. Discussion. So to be really clear, we're talking about appointing someone to start immediately in that role until we bring in an interim who will serve for a longer period of time until we get to a uh, permanent county administrator. Any other discussion? Uh, Mr. Dis yes, Commissioner Kolars. Oh, Commissioner Kolars, if you're speaking, you're muted, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to say that I believe that uh, we are in a good position and grateful that we have a person of Mandy's caliber to uh, take us to the next step in our process. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing no discussion, uh, Abby, I'm going to ask you if you would please take the role on the motion to appoint Mandy Landcammer as interim county attorney, uh, county administrator, excuse me. Colars? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Morrow? Yes. Uh, Mandy Landcammer will serve as interim county administrator. Uh, until we get a permanent interim or interim county administrator. I know the terms are confusing and I apologize for Mr. that. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Commissioner Kolars. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I see Mandy's name on our list here someplace. Could she appear as we go forward in the future of this uh, discussion? Absolutely, I think she's doing that right now. Very good, welcome Mandy. Thank you. And, and thank you, Mandy. I think, uh, uh, and I thank the personnel committee. This is uh, an excellent path for us to go. And we're very grateful to you, Mandy, for your willingness to step in in this short period of time to help us out. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Mr. Members Chair. The, uh, sorry, members of the board, I think it would be appropriate to have a motion to designate uh, Mandy as the responsible authority. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second motion by Kolar, second by Drannel to uh, designate Mandy Landcammer as our responsible authority. Any discussion? 
Seeing no discussion, Abby, would you please take the roll? Colars? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion uh, is approved unanimously. Uh, members of the board, as a county board, we need to uh, ensure that there is a person filling a position called clerk of the board. Uh, under Minnesota state law, that person is the county auditor unless a board chooses to pass a motion to designate someone else to be the clerk of the board. In 2013, uh, the Nicola County Board passed a, uh, a motion to, uh, I, uh, to name Ryan Crosh as the county administrator to be the clerk of the board. Uh, given uh, action taken uh, earlier in this meeting, it would be appropriate for us now to uh, appoint a clerk of the board. Uh, and I have uh, had an opportunity to talk with our current county auditor, Jackie Kopet. She understands and is willing to serve in this role. So at this time, I would invite a motion to appoint uh, our county auditor, Jackie Kopet, as clerk of the board. I would move that we appoint Jackie Kopet clerk of the board. Second. We have a motion by Drano, second by Kolars. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Seeing no discussion, Abby, would you please take the roll? Connell? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion passes unanimously. Uh, third uh, on this list, we have authorized the personnel committee to make hiring and salary offers upon consultation with department heads pending the selection of a human resources director. Uh, the point here is I hope rather clear, we need to be able to move forward with uh, certain decisions as we seek to fill positions on a permanent basis. So I would invite a motion to authorize the personnel committee to make uh, these hiring and salary office offers as, as described. Mr. Chair, I make that motion. Cap moves. I'll second. Lipke seconds. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, Abby, would you please take the roll? Kemp? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Gunnell? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion passes unanimously, and I would like to take a moment to thank both Commissioner Kolars and Commissioner Drennel for all of your work and uh, your work helping the county move forward. So thank you both very, very much. Turning out to board committee assignments. Uh, under our current uh, board committee assignments, uh, we now have some openings. Uh, I would like to, uh, I am going to assign uh, Mandy as our interim county administrator to fill each county assignment that had been filled by our uh, previous county administrator. In terms of any uh, positions that had been filled on board committees by our human resource director, I'd like to return to those uh, on a situational basis. Uh, but for right now, uh, I'm going to appoint Mandy as uh, Mandy as the interim county administrator to fill those positions that had been filled by the county administrator. With that said, uh, we will turn now to uh, the COVID-19 update. And uh, at this point, I'd like to turn uh, to our county auditor, uh, Ms. Kopik, to uh, talk a little bit about uh, uh, occurrences this week and uh, being back open and running. Please, Ms. Kopik. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, yes, we've had an exciting week here at the License Center. Um, we did have uh, to close for a couple of days due to COVID exposure. We are uh, reopened as of yesterday. Uh, we do have staff in the office, although we're a little short staffed this week, and we're hoping that next week we'll be back to being full staffed and ready to go again. Wonderful. Commissioners, any questions uh, from Ms. Copin? Well, I would like to thank you on behalf of the board and everyone on your staff for uh, coming through as, as well as you did. It, it really was a rapid turnaround. So thank you very much. Thank you. 
Uh, next on our agenda is uh, the American Rescue Plan Act. Uh, this was federal legislation that was recently uh, passed. Just want to give a, a quick uh, highlight and summary uh, to keep everyone up to date. The estimated funds for Nicola County under this act are $6.6 .6 million. Uh, we estimate that May 11th would be the first payment to the county under this act and that the second payment would come in one year after the first payment. The uh, funds must be spent by December 31st, 2024. And there is no current estimate of when the US Treasury will issue specific guidance to counties on the use of the funds. Uh, but we know in the public sector that responding to the public health emergency, responding to workers performing essential work, recovering revenue losses, investments in water, sewer, and broadband, and transfers of funds to not-for-profit or special use purpose units of state or local government are permitted under the uh, American Rescue Plan Act. So on this, as all other matters, we're very grateful to all our department heads and all of our staff that uh, have stepped up. We're going to uh, be moving forward, uh, excited in the ways that the county will be serving uh, our com our uh, community, our residents, uh, very grateful to the four, five board members. We're going to be uh, plowing ahead as well and keeping our eye on uh, things that are of uh, essential importance to our community. Commissioner Kemp, your box lit up, so I didn't know if you were looking to Pardon. speak. No, I, I would just wanted to reiterate a thanks to my fellow board members and all of the staff who have done extraordinary things in a very short period of time. And um, I'm very proud of all of us in doing that. And again, I would be remiss in not thanking the citizens of Nicollet County for being uh, diligent and engaged and very helpful to all of us. And we certainly appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Kemp. Any other commissioners wishing to comment? Mr. Chair? Commissioner Lipke? Uh, I'm just wondering, now there's broadband in this bill, but there's also broadband in the thing that President Biden is talking about now. So I, I don't know who's really gonna be watching this. Uh, we, nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Commissioner Kemp. That's a, uh, Commissioner Lipke, that's a tremendous observation. You're absolutely right. And I anticipate moving forward, we will continue our work. We've already had some communications about the broadband investments that may be available, and we'll have some more updates for the, uh, the community uh, very soon. Commissioner Lipke, that's a very good observation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with that, I'd invite a motion to adjourn the meeting. Kemp would move. I'll second. Kemp moves Lipke's seconds to adjourn this meeting. Abby, would you take the roll, please? Kemp? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Morrow? Yes. Thank you. The motion is approved. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you.